PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. Well, we had a good time with Mr. Sam Walton, Mr. Sam over the last three weeks, but now we need to get back right into where we live. So I'm going to focus on certified for a little bit. Let me, let me tell you what I see going on right now. Um, the chip shortage is so funny because we're hearing about all these problems in America. So I guess if there was a bunch of chips and they were on a ship in a container, that's even going to make the car build out for the new cars even longer. Now we have a shipping and a transportation problem to go along with our part shortage. So when we look into the future, the new cars seem to be pushed further and further. Had a birthday wish to, to one of the salespeople today, and he came back and go, hey, KC, for my birthday, can you tell Toyota to build more cars? That's a really good birthday wish. It's just not going to happen. Can't build cars without the parts. It's not like that we're the only ones in that situation, because we're not. Everybody's in the situation. Drive around town to the franchise OEMs, and their parking lots look different than they've ever looked before. There's very few cars out there. Some have stacked up on used cars, some are still not in that game. It is interesting. So we've got to look at what our opportunity is. 16 million new cars sold per year on a non-COVID year, non-chip shortage year, and about 41 million used cars, which is climbing every single day. Used car companies are interesting because years ago, Toyota, I, I would buy a 150,000 mile Toyota and not have a problem with the car. The car's phenomenal. But there were very few manufacturers that once the car got over 100,000 miles, that's an auction piece and that would be sold at an independent somewhere because the franchise dealers did not want that car. Now, there are multiple OEMs that produce cars that'll go 100, 200, 300,000 miles with no issues. So now the number of used cars that are in the market for sale, not because we're building more cars, because they're lasting longer. There'll be more cars. So the growth is gonna be in the pre-owned side of the market. I know they're pushing electric cars right now, and I know everybody that's listening to me right now has an opinion on whether you think it's good, bad, or you don't care. I know one thing, that if the cars start at 60,000 and go up to 140,000, um, I don't know the average American is gonna be able to pay $100,000 for a car plus insurance and plus paying the extra electric bill. So uh, even though that car might be something they want, they can't afford it. Over time, those batteries start becoming less efficient. So if I buy a four or five or six year old electric car, I don't know, is it gonna be as efficient? I don't know. All I know is a three year old certified Corolla will last for me and for my kid and the next kid and the next kid and that car will go like the, the cl cliche says forever. So I know that that's an affordable car. Used cars are the future for right now. And so I look at opportunities. So I look at what Toyota's doing on the certified side. So if you just look at the numbers, so digital ads appear, 6,000 websites. So there's 6,000 websites out there that we throw digital ads on. You could be on cars.com looking at a Ford F-150. If you look at the bottom of that ad, it says Toyota certified or all new 2022 Tundra because we're buying that ad spot. So on the used car side, Toyota's not buying any network TV, any cable TV. We're not buying any of that. We're buying millions of dollars worth of ads right at the point where people are searching. It also goes on to show that we have, we have over two billion impressions. So anywhere you look on the internet, if you're looking for cars, then there's a great chance that you're going to get a Toyota ad. We are buying more and more all the time. We are trying to force somebody into looking at your car so we can drive a lead to you. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. So let's look where the market's going to go in the next few years. The, the chips are going to come back. When the chips come back, do you think the manufacturers are going to back off on production or do you think they're going to build everything they can build? There are 2020 model cars that are completely built, can't be sold because they don't have the chip. So if the chips start coming back in late in 2022 when the 2023s are coming out, are there going to be brand new 2020 cars shoved into dealerships? Yes. Are they going to be brand new 2021 cars shoved into dealerships? Yes. And then the 22s? Yes. And so now we've got this giant surplus of all these low mileage, zero mileage, brand new, untitled cars to the point where now it's not demand and supply, it's now supply and demand. 
So now that one vehicle, that one forerunner you're going to sell or the one tundra you're going to sell because you're the only one that had one, now you have 10 and every other dealer has 10 and they're all equipped the same and they're all the same color and now the whole landscape of this business has changed. So here's some things you can think about to make sure you capitalize on the future next couple of years in the car business. You can hire an administrative assistant, somebody to help you. What would they help you with? Calling the customer back, um, doing a walk around presentation for you, pulling the car up, you know, things that would just make you be more efficient. So I will tell you right now, you don't really need to pay a digital uh, assistant because you have a digital assistant. If you need to do a presentation for a customer, you can do one presentation. Hey, I'm KC. Let me show you the different suspension setups that you have in the all new 2022 Tundra. Believe it or not, you go with a base suspension, then we have Bilstein shocks, then we move up into TRD Pro where we have Fox shocks on there. We also have a suspension setup with an air ride suspension and load leveling for the 12,000 pound towing capacity. So I've already done that video. So if anybody comes out and says, hey, I'm interested in the Tundra, I send the video out. The phone goes and the video already went out. Now they know the truck. Now they know I know what I'm talking about. Now they know where I am and who I am. And now I have a customer coming in. And I've done that. I can do one video, send it to 100 customers, or I can wait for 100 customers that come in and I can do a walk around. But the problem is, is maybe they don't come in. If I send them the video and go to work, they come in. So the next thing is go to the client's home or office. I mean, to me, uh, I, I've already admitted this. I bought two vehicles during this COVID run. I, I have no idea who the salespeople, I, I couldn't tell you their first or last name. They were both guys, so two men. That's all I remember. I have no idea what their name is. I, I tried to think about it the other day. I can't think, I, I can't even tell you what they look like. I did the research online. I bought an FJ and a Highlander. I did the research online. They were no, not at Toyota stores. They were at other stores. I went in. I negotiated the deal. I bought the car. I left with the car. I never got a follow-up phone call from the dealership or the salesperson. Nobody's checked on me. There's not been any mailing. I had to call for both multiple times to get my license plate for the car. I don't even, I'll, give me six more months. I won't even remember what dealership I bought them from. How is that a thing? The nice thing about it is, is if, if I, I would have preferred them to bring the car to my home or office. I really didn't want to go into their dealership. I didn't need the dealership for anything. I wanted the car, not the dealership. So could I go out there and go, hey, Casey, real quick, I know you're looking for this forerunner. It's nothing better than to actually see the forerunner before you have to make all that effort to drive over the dealership. Let me walk you around, show you a couple of items on here that I think are going to blow you away. First of all, it's only got 16,238 miles on it. It's like they just drove it out of the driveway and back in the driveway. It's crazy, right? And you send that video out. So now you've just done a home or office delivery. The nice thing about sending that video out is now they can show it to their spouse, significant other, all the people in the office. And I love that everybody in the office is looking at the forerunner you're going to buy because you know what they say every day. Did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? Have you got the forerunner yet? Did you pick it up yet? You know, eventually you've got to buy the forerunner now because the people at the office are closing you. Hello, digital. I love you, baby. I love you, digital. Market yourself. Hi, I'm KC and I'll be personally taking care of you when you come in. It is always easier to sell somebody a second car. Once they come back to you a second time, they know you, they know your mannerisms, they trust the way you do business, and it's a great relationship. Here we go. It is so simple. Why would you ever let somebody come in the dealership that didn't know your personality and your ability level? Hey, I'm KC. I'll be taking care of you when you come in. I'm super excited to work for you. Here's all my contact information. If you have any questions, call me because I want to take care of everything so you don't have to spend all day at the dealership. Why would you not send that out? Why would you not send that out? Why would you not have somebody film that with good audio and send that out? Now they know you, they know your mannerisms. Here's what's going on in America right now. If you're not paying attention, let me help you. Every business is trying to hire people. What the, the business owners are saying is can't find anybody to work. People don't want to work and they're making it all political. Either you have enough staff or you don't have enough staff. That's not political. If you need six servers in a restaurant and you have three, your food is going to come out later. And so since nobody wants to work and everybody's saying nobody wants to work, why don't you prove to every single customer that's coming in that you are already working for them? You've already done stuff. I'll give you one. On a used car, there's a Carfax. Hey, I just want to let you know I'm looking at the Carfax right now and everything about this car is green and good to go. I just want to let you know before you come in, I've already looked at all the paperwork. 
Come on in. It's a great car. So I'll, now I'll review the Carfax with them. Fine. That's fine. Everybody does a Carfax. What I really told them was, you set an appointment with me, but I'm already working for you. I'm going to commit you to me because of my effort level, and I'm going to make sure there is no confusion that you see that I am 100% full bore effort for you. You're my client. Nothing else matters. Here we go. Market hot products. I've been telling you this for years and nobody does it. Get two other people in your dealership you like. It's crazy how we love each other in the car business. I mean, there's people in your dealership you don't like. That, that's, that's life. I'm sorry. You know, but there's a couple of people in there. You guys hang around together. You laugh. You go out afterwards. Your families may know each other. I mean, just great people. So it's Casey and Jen and Tyrone. The three amigos, man. And what we do is every Saturday morning, we show up at the dealership about 7 o'clock, take our best 10 pre-owned vehicles. Doesn't matter what brand. I mean, Jeeps are cultish. People buy Jeeps. What makes a Jeep look good is when you put $10,000 worth of accessories on there. Then the Jeep looks good. So I got one of those. I got a three-quarter ton uh, F-250 that's only got 25,000 miles on it. I got a Lunar Rock. Forerunner, I got a TRD Pro Tacoma. I've lined up 10 cars and the three amigos go out there. Hey, welcome to our Facebook Live. We do it every Saturday morning at 7.30 sharp. Let's start right here. First vehicle, Jeep. Just a regular Jeep until they put $10,000 worth of accessories on here. Got a lift kit, got some swampers on it. This thing is awesome. You need to get down here before noon hits because there ain't no way this is still going to be here. But watch this. Get ready. Walk out. Tyrone, do it. Hey, check this out. Lunar Rock 2019 Forerunner. We may have the only one in the whole United States. Come see it. And we walk through the cars. The first week you do that, there's five or six people watching you. Who's that? It's your family. It's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mom and dad. You know, you do it for a year every Saturday. By the end of the year, on your Facebook Live, you have thousands of people that are watching because you're funny and because you have great cars and people love cars. And what the heck are you going to watch on a Saturday morning while you're having your coffee but Jen and Casey and Tyrone having a good time with cars? Be creative. Be digital. Digital doesn't cost you any money. Have fun with it. Get ready for the future because the years of the asterisks are going away. Supply is going to come back. The, pre the people that are more prepared for the challenges of the new market that's coming are the ones that are going to have the most fun and make the most money in the car business. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting.